morning everybody um, it's been a long time coming but I thought I'd do a bit of a tour of Max our, our home on wheels uh, got him in June last year um, it's been non-stop really we've done quite a lot since we've had it but for those of you who don't know who Max is Max is a seven and a half ton Ivy called Euro Cargo lorry um, it was an EDF wagon originally to start with so it's been a work wagon most of its life and um, I'll drop a couple of pictures in of how it used to look like when, when we got it so since then as you can tell we've done quite a bit to the outside it's painted black military black four coats with a four inch roller and believe me it took a hell of a long time it took about a week to do all in which was a bit of a pain but it needs must I didn't like it white and green and rust coloured and, and whatever else so but yeah it's uh, quite effective as black people seem to remember it when they see it I've never seen anything else like it on the road excuse the sunshine it's a bit sunny today there it is Say hello to everybody. Hi. What have you been doing? Um, on the park. Been on the park? Have you had fun? Mm -hmm. Alright then. Love ya. Yeah. Better. Anyway, yeah, so it's an XEDF wagon. Now, it's done 146,000 miles. I just love it. I just absolutely love it. The shutters are for materials and the electrical system, which I'll show shortly. I'm afraid it's, it looks a bit dirtier than normal. It's a bit. Went to the Peak District for the weekend for Craig's birthday and it's a bit muddy and dirty. So I'm waiting for it to rain so it'll wash it off. I think I've only ever washed it once since I've had it. It's too bloody big. So, um, yeah, on my tools, electrical system, and the other locker on the other side is for like storage for bits and pieces for me. Spare glues and screws and stuff and bits and pieces. Um, put these lights on the other week some LEDs, LED spotlights because it was a work truck it came with work lights anyway but they were gash they were absolutely dog shit so they soon came off I did replace them with some others but they were not much better to be honest they were LEDs they were just 24 volt bulbs so it's two windows on that side I think you can just see at the top our solar panel we've got a 500 watt solar panel of bimble have a walk around. Oh, hello, who's that? Hey, Stan. Stan, say hello to Karen. Say hello to Karen. Three chalkies. Come on, tell her you're missing her. Because <laughs> she'll comment. I've done the right lot to the outside, really. Got these solar lights on, which if I don't add them on the other van. And they were superb so at night time they'll light up there's two on either side and two on the back really good off amazon if anybody's interested i think they're about 16 quid a pair it's just handy if you're parked up somewhere people are walking past and they'll just come on hopefully frighten them away if they're trying to dick around with your van or anything i was going to do a video of it but as anybody who watches the channel will know i forget so I might do it in the future at some point. Right, so here's the outside storage. Well, apart from, well, let's start again. Right, so outside we have two of these Dakin truck boxes. I'm gonna from the International Camper Van Show off someone who's was, was got an Overlander. Daftway around Nathan. So there's one on either side and the dead handy to um, put my jump leads in and tow bars and paints and other bits and pieces. So, but well, this is my work lockers. It's got my electrical bits, screws, grinding discs, tapes, paints, rivets, you name it, anything's in there, wires. Then on this side, we've got the electrical part. So I've got a Victron solar controller, battery charger, because I do have 240 hookup. I've got a Makita charger on top, so when I'm working, 
an inverter which will charge up the the double Makita I don't have anything really that plugs in that's my diesel for the diesel eater um, everything's properly fused that's the B2B that came with it it's sterling B2B um, we've got two diesel eaters one's on 24 volt which are the starter batteries and one's 12 volt which is onto the leisure batteries then on this side I've got all my tools, my bits and pieces, because obviously I need them for when I'm travelling around the country. Doing uh, conversions and stuff, helping with vans and whatever. But yeah, it's quite a good, uh, quite a good storage system really. Right, inside. So, in there, which is the sink, we have our 80 litre water tank. I've made a cupboard, so that's for our bits and pieces. Don't laugh at me, oh hang on. Or made toothbrush holder. Just a bit covered. You know what I mean? All my soft clothes. That's the burner. It's a fire on, love. Woohoo! Nicey, nicey. Look at that. That keeps us warm. It's lovely, that. Like I said, we've got that on two diesel litres, just in case. One down there, another one's under the kitchen, which is because it was a work truck. It came with one anyway. Now that's, that's like I said, that's the one that's wired up to the start batteries. So I tend not to use that one. It's just uh, emergencies only. The windows are quite nice. You have the old fly screens in. Plus the blinds. I do need another one for the back door. Obviously, no back door there. Hello. Hi. There's no back door shut yet, but we need one in there because it's a bit dark since we've done the roof. Mm -hmm. So, the roof is finally, finally, finally finished. Which has took six months in the making. Well, six months in finding the money. To do it all but um, it all matches the the holes are for these work lights underneath in the truck itself when they light on the dashboard so you flick them on and there's three holes in each of these so they're like little spotlights really when they come in so the only bit of the roof that's straight as in the tim the cladding is straight is on that edge and that's on a 45 degree angle that's on 45, the opposite way. Yeah. That's the opposite way. That's the opposite way. This is doing her own work, like a good girl. <laughs> for the first time this year. <laughs> I don't Maybe. Think so. I don't think so. <laughs> well yeah, so we've made these cupboards. Izzy, do you wanna do you wanna help me out? Do you wanna lift the cupboards up for me? <laughs> yeah? Is that yours? Yeah. That's your cupboard, up. yeah, that sure is up. Got your clothes in. Right, let go of it. See, they're all nice soft clothes as well. Uh, yours. My cupboards. Brew shell. And then you got Debs's. Same thing. Same thing. But well, we've got. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, let go of it. Just drop it. There you go. Right, so tablet, we don't have a television. We did have in the van. We just fired it off. No use. I'd rather have just tablets so we can have Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, or whatever else. That's where my diesel heater tank is at the moment. Now, this seating area is being ripped out. It's good for storage, but it is getting ripped out. It's not us, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna make something that'll go on the floor I'm going to try and incorporate the diesel eater tank in as well. But we're also going to rip out the kitchen. It's a bit sunny today. <laughs> Even though it's very, it's very bright, first time. Even though there's nothing wrong with the kitchen, it's a lovely kitchen, it really is. But does it match? Well, I'm not bothered about it matching. <laughs> I want it to be more practical. Because in there we've got a fridge. 
and a toilet at that end and a fridge in there and the storage isn't the best in the middle so the idea is show you yeah can do so we've got the old toilet toilet which we've got to pull out by hand so when it's yeah. heavy is heavy not much storage dog clothes dog clothes dog dressing up clothes there's jumpers keeping mm -hmm. warm tea bags no oh milk. empty bag oh fanta oh i didn't milk. realize we had some fanta just right, we'll get them fanters out after. And then this is like plates, pans, all sorts. Yeah, red cupboard. Yeah. And then this is the fridge. The fridge which we can't pull out, which is what you want, isn't it? Yeah. You want to make one that pulls out. The, fridge is, the fridge is a Berg 28 litre fridge. Now it fits in that cupboard perfect. Um, so it's an odd size, because usually obviously it'd be in a standard size kitchen, it's 600 mil wide. But I want that as a freezer. So I want a freezer in this one. I want to do a fridge on that one. And I want to do the toilet on that one, but on runners. So that's coming out. Tile and stopping. So I do enjoy that. I do like that tile. Mm. Um, nice. It's a bit of a mess up that. Yeah, we need just. I filmed that already, I think. Oh. But that's off Dave and Shell. That's mm -hmm. really nice, really superb. Uh, I'll take another thing. When I get in touch with them, they do all kinds of laser printing and stuff on wood and whatever. It was burning your ass. The sun. <laughs> oh, the stuff. Fire. The fire's burning her ass. <laughs> um, that's of Dawn. Quirky cottages. That's one at first. Well, what that before we even got the truck to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know that things to say now. You've moved the court. Rachel made that. Rachel made that. Watercolours, I think. Who's that? Me and my cousin. <laughs> huh? So, yeah, I, mean, I don't think I've got any pictures of... Have you showed them this? No, not yet. I'll show them that in a minute. But yeah, I mean, since we've changed them cupboards, since we've ripped them out, that's just my house better. Absolutely superb. Loads of room. Yeah. And we've got the... Beachwoods ballroom, the disco light. How did you turn that on? Off the wall of cods, you got to plug it in. Oh, right, okay. So trust me, it works. Yeah, it does. It does work. Right, Devs is going to show us this step, stroke, storage. Machine weaving here. And all Some grasses sorts of, on it as well. And our stickers, brush. Oh. Nice. Um, all sorts of um, toiletries and whatnot. So did that piece of grass do? I don't know. Basically, that seat's too high for our little legs. Yeah. Isn't it? So it's like a little, it's a little step rest up. as it's well. A little step up. It helps us get onto the bed, because the bed's quite high as well. And it's for storage. But at the minute, it's only a couple of screws holding it down. So if I don't like it, I can always move it. Mm -hmm. I can always redo it when I redesign. Great. Everything else. That's where Stan's usual spot is. On the door. <laughs> hey, Stan. He looks like that. Hey, baby. Where's that? You sit down. down. Sit down. Sit. Here's your paw. Paw. He just high five as well. Come on then, high five. Oh, high five. Come on. High five. Sit. 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 Paw. Good, Good boy. boy. He's so clever. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've got a few jobs left to do, like I said. But the last thing is, before we go, is um, I'm gonna mention the floor. I'm gonna, the floor is to finish doing that cupboard, doing that, and then it'll be done. It'll be done, finished. Right, thanks very much for looking at our home on wheels. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>